We joke about launching someone into the sun, but have you ever wondered how hard that actually is? Turns out, it's way harder than blasting someone into deep space. The sun is huge, its gravity is enormous, and it's only 150 million kilometers away. So it should be easy, just point a rocket at it and fire. Right, well, no. If you try, you miss the sun by almost 100 million kilometers. Here's why. Earth is racing around the sun at 30 kilometers per second. So when your rocket leaves Earth, it inherits that sideways velocity. Even if you launch it straight toward the sun, the sideways motion turns the rocket's path into a big ellipse that completely misses the target. To hit the sun directly, you'd need a rocket going 7,000 kilometers per second. That's sci-fi levels of speed. Far beyond our technology. So what's the real solution? Instead of aiming at the sun, you fight Earth's motion. Launch the rocket backwards against the direction Earth is orbiting at about 32 kilometers per second. Do that, and the rocket's speed relative to the sun becomes almost zero. Then the sun simply pulls the rocket inward. A ten-week fall, straight into fiery doom. Sounds good. Until you realize the fastest spacecraft we've ever launched, New Horizons only reached 16 kilometers per second. Not even close. In fact, it's easier to launch someone out of the solar system than into the sun. Yes, ejecting someone into interstellar space requires less fuel than hitting literally the biggest object in our solar system. But there is a way. Just like the Parker Solar Probe uses Venus to shave off speed and dive closer to the sun, we could send a spacecraft on a long, winding tour of the solar system. Each flyby reshapes its orbit, removing more and more sideways velocity, until eventually, gravity wins and the sun consumes whatever's on board. So yes, you can fire someone into the sun. It just takes years, several planets, and a ridiculous amount of orbital mechanics. 